Hey, I'm back with a quick video after being gone for quite some time. Um, it's been like three months since my last update, upload. Um, lots going on this year. Um, let me adjust this. Um, I don't know how many people actually seen a couple of my videos, but one of them I did speak about my mom and my son passing away January of this year. And after that, I had quite a few more pass away. Two aunts, um, a niece, a nephew, and an uncle. So hopefully we done for 2022 with that. And um, I can balance myself back out and be back to normal, or at least my new normal. Um, today I came to you all with a sublimation tumbler that I'm doing in a Black & Decker oven. As you can see, it's a small oven. I've been using it for quite a few years now. Um, I'm doing this design. It came through my Amazon channel, so I'm ready to post this on there. As you can see, one side of the paper I left long, and this is gonna be my overlap. Other sides, I cut all the sides off to fit the tumbler. Um, let me grab a blank. I do get my blanks from quite a few vendors. Uh, I leave links and down below for the ones that I do use that I can vouch for. So far, their products have been great for the years I've been using them. I do not use alcohol on my tumblers. I simply wipe my tumblers down with a microfiber cloth, which I need to get another one now because this one is starting to look a little funky. But put my hand in there, wipe it down really good. And the way that I actually do the tumbler, I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can actually see what my technique has been because I used to get some really ugly tumblers. So let me bring you in a little bit. That's close enough to actually see it. But I used to get some really ugly tumblers that would have pressure marks, you know, at the top and the bottom and things like that. So what I started doing is the paper, lay it flat, take my cup, lay it on there, even up the top and the bottom. So my top is and bottom are even. And then I start rolling my cup into the paper. This was a cool little technique that was taught to me by um, one of the young ladies at Vinyl Fun for Everyone here in St. Louis, Missouri. But it keeps it tight to the cup. And another thing, it helps with evening out the sides on there. So the print, as you can see, it's tight up against there. It's not a lot of flex in it. And as you see me tape it, let me grab my tape. This is Cricut tape that I'm using today. I usually use this for my tumblers. And somebody must have been playing in it. But I usually use Cricut tape for my tumblers. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit more down. I might do that wrap technique again, just in case. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. But let me see if I can adjust this down a little bit more to where, yeah, so you can see. But I'm going to do it again now that I got my tape over here. Should have had that with me. But I lay it down on here and just kind of just make sure that the lip of the cup is even. And then I roll tightly. Just roll, roll. Keep it tight, roll. That overlap is gonna be on top. As you can see, my overlap is on top. It's gonna be on the top of the paper because I don't want a white line down my cup. So I keep my overlap up top. Pull it tighter because it was a little bit of give in that. All right. So then, now I'm gonna start taping it. I start with the different ends 
because sometimes you'll lose like a little bit of traction if you let go to, to do it higher or straight in the middle. But I'm taping there. So, so far I got these two. I don't do usually a full seam of tape, but I will today. Overlap the tape, push down, get, get it tight, get it tight. So you want to rub your fingers across your tape just to make sure it's flattened up against there. And now that I got all of those on and tight, do this one. On and tight. And you can usually tell if you're not tight enough. Because if you push this, it'll usually lift your tape up. If you're not tight enough in, in one spot, it'll lift your tape. So you can see how I have like a tiny gap right there. I'm going to lift this tape up off of there just for a second. Okay. And move it. And that way I can push this paper down tighter. I'm real meticulous about it because tumblers aren't cheap and you tend to lose money on them if you if you mess up just one that you I mean there's no profit in trying to make tumblers if you lose if you lose if you lose money off of it so all right so I got that it's taped as you can see that's my top lip on there that's my bottom my bottom i'm gonna use so i think my bottom could actually be a little bit tighter but we're good for now i'm gonna use my heat gun to actually use a shrink wrap on this um that's what i use this is a shrink wrap and what I like to do is get my seam, the seam of the shrink wrap, right in the same position as the, um, as kind of where I taped it. And the reason I do that is just in case I got that pressure on that seam to avoid a line. So I don't know if you can see that seam right here running down it. But once I do that, let me move you on over. Because now I'm going to bring it to where I actually do my heat gun at. You got to excuse me, too. One of my kids stepped on the arm of my camera. So it's a little bit of an now. So I got to actually kick this box with me everywhere I go to keep it even. So now... I'm going to move my chair to the side. And while I got it laying there, I'm going to look, make sure my paper didn't slide, didn't move down, still even around there. And now, while it's laying here, I'm going to start my shrink in the middle. So, a little noise. I might edit over it. I'm going to talk a little louder because this is one of the most important parts to me. If you don't get this part right, it could mess up the whole cup even if you got all that tape and stuff done. Because all these air bubbles, you want them out. You want this to be smooth as possible. And you don't want to put the heat gun too close and you don't want the heat too high because if the heat is too high, then you got to worry about actually putting holes in the shrink wrap so this takes a little minute of patience to actually get this done all right so 
Now I'm gonna work on smoothing in both directions. Just wave your gun in the direction that you want the bubbles to go. Like I said, you don't want the heat gun too close to it. Because it will puncture it and defeat the purpose. Alright, I'm almost out of bubbles. Almost smooth. All right, so got that all done. Right, so shrink wrap on it's a little hot now we're ready to go back to the oven we go i could learn to edit but what's the fun in that instead of you seeing me slide my camera with me all right and my oven actually just timed out so let me bring this up some. All right. So let me get my oven back on. My, I have a temperature gauge. I don't know if you can see it back there in that corner, but I do have a temperature gauge in there that I keep in there. My oven is actually set just past 400 degrees so as you can see if it's just now it's about 375 on there so it never really actually reaches that over 400 degrees except for on the initial startup but after it's been sitting it it, it kind of balances the temperature out i usually go like 360 360 uh, 375 degrees so when i see the thermometer hit that that's when i put my cup in all right so i'm gonna put my cup in i do not turn my cups either so i don't turn my cups um that way i don't lose heat inside the oven while it's going because just opening it for that short period, it dropped the temp. So I, right, I'm gonna let that go. Hey Siri, set a timer for seven minutes. So seven that's what minutes. I, that's what I do. Down. I rely on her to set my timer, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I'm getting my gloves on. My timer just went off. This has been a little over seven minutes due to me trying to get these gloves on. But that's what it looks like. You can kind of see the print through it a little bit. But turn this off. But seven minutes is up. Let me grab my silicone mat. I got these at Michael's. So I don't burn through nothing down here. And let me grab my scissors that I use to open stuff up with. Um, matter of fact, this is a, a weeding hook that I'm gonna do this with. this on off you can see a little bit of the transfer on the inside of that 
where I, I lift up my tape with the with the hook. Trying not to touch my arm with this hot cup. And just slide slide it, lift my tape. Peel it back. Voila. Creepy girl. I'm gonna show you where my seam is, if you can't catch it in the video. But here's my actual seam. And you can kind of tell because the way her hair splits. But there's my actual seam. There's the top, bottom, full coverage. I would say, perfect. This design, I'll link to it below as well. Um, I did get it from Creative Fabrica, so I'll link to that below. Here's my sub paper afterwards. This is what it looked like after the transfer was complete. And um, it was printed on this printer here. That That is the Epson F570. Uh, as you can see, I got some more prints up here I, I got to do. But this is what it looked like. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. So this is before and after print. I printed all of those to, at the same time. Um, this is a 24-inch um, printer. As far as um, the actual tumbers like i said i mentioned where i got those from down below as well um and other than that these heat gloves i got these from michael's a long time ago um with something else it came with a vacuum machine that makes molds but these work good for heat i'll link those below as well and as far as like I said, everything else, they turned out it turned out perfectly. It's ready to go be shipped out. It was a part of an Amazon order that um somebody ordered earlier. So I got it set up, ready to go on out. And anything else I can think of, I'll link below. But if you have questions, let me know. I'm trying to get back regular with this and get back in the swing of things. So if it's something you want to see. As you can see, I pretty much got everybody's machine all the way around. So, if you if you see something you like, let me know. And we can get it going. Until then, thanks for watching. Have a good one.